different state of my today we're in my living room because it's too hot to be upstairs in the studio so I'm gonna do a kind of no makeup makeup look if you know me well enough by now you know I really don't like to wear a lot of makeup when I'm not doing YouTube and it is like the hottest day of the year it's 28 degrees in the UK and if you live in the UK you know we are renowned for having not very great summers but if you're not from the UK then we don't have great summers so this is quite nice for us I have got the back door open because it is really warm and the neighbour has just decided to start doing the over in. As it is super hot, I'm going to be wearing some sunscreen today. I've already put a little bit of my Murad 50 on. So this is the SBR Very High Anti Brown Spot Protection and I've been using that on these particular areas and across my top lip just to make sure that the pigmentation doesn't really get any worse. It's quite high coverage. It reminds me of those sunscreens that people used to have in the 80s when they'd put colour down their nose and you'd see them on the beach or on Baywatch. But I don't mind that because if you leave it a little while it sinks in or you give it a good rub and it rubs in no problem but you know, like since I've been using it, pigmentation hasn't got any worse. In the mornings I've been using this by Embryo Elise. It goes underneath your eyes and it just gives a really nice cooling effect which kind of really wakes you up. Not that I've currently got bags as such, but <laughs> prevention is better than a cure. So it's really nice cooling effect. It's like a little stick and it, as I say, it just really makes you feel wide awake. It's lovely. It's a great way to start the day. Once my sunscreen has sunk in, I've been using the Aborian Matte Cream and this is really good at just giving that mattifying, blurring effect to your skin. I don't want too much on my skin because it is really hot. This is just going to help to keep any extra oil at bay. And I just use it through the T-section of my face. It smells so nice. Really lovely. And I'm prone to breaking out through using products. And I don't have any issues with this one. So if you do have breakouts, then give this one a whirl because it's really nice it smells nice and usually I would avoid things with fragrance in but this is really lovely this week I received the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel and I wasn't sure how I would feel about using something that's so lightweight but it's really lovely and every time I've used it this week I've had tons of compliments those of you that love full coverage foundation are not gonna like this tutorial because this is really really lightweight this is in the shade tan 07 and because I have got a nice colour to my skin and no colour to my face, I can afford to take it darker so for those of you that are watching and you're going to say it's too dark for you, it will match up I promise. I also received the Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush, I think this is probably one of my favourite brushes I've ever used. It's kind of like a duo fibre brush, this also has an SPF of 30 in it so I just like to put a little bit on my cheeks, that would be enough for all of it put a bit too much on now. And then I use this smoothing face brush to buff it into the skin. Now as I said it will be darker than my skin tone but it will match everything from the neck down. <laughs> so this week I, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I've been in the wards. I say I've been in the wards, I gave blood, we should all do it if we can, um, but the lady that did it really bruised my arm. I don't know if you can still see, I've got a little bit of bruising still there and the hole that the needle left is huge um, so that's my war wound for the week then I was doing the dishwasher and I left the door open and I walked into it then the other day I was in the shower and I was shaving my legs and you know when you prop your leg up on something and we've got like a little shower caddy underneath and in there is a pair of nail scissors that Tommy uses and they were propped open and my foot slipped off the top of the shower and my foot went straight into the scissors and um, I cried, I really cried. I think it was more the shock, it was really painful. So this is more like it's going to give you colour more than it's going to give you coverage because it is just a tinted gel. It's just going to help even out your skin tone and give you a little bit more colour although sitting in my bay window looking in my monitor I still look quite there. If you're taking a colour that's darker than your skin tone to match your chest, if you've not worked it in, you're really going to notice it. So don't forget, there is a little tip. If you give yourself a little bit of a double chin, look to the side. It's not very flattering, but it's a great way to smooth it down onto your neck. A lot of people just don't notice it, but I find if you kind of do the double chin, then you can see where you've not blended it. 
Regarding bronzers, I always use a matte bronzer, especially on my neck. So at the minute I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And my favourite brush to apply it is by Neve Cosmetics. It's probably pronounced wrong because I think it might be Spanish or Italian. This is a massive kabuki brush and it's just great for bronzing your neck. If you've got your hair up, don't forget to take it up behind your ears, over your ears and around the back of your neck. And then don't forget to wash it all off. So I don't know if you can see, my face is starting to match. Next up, I'm going to take Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer, and this is in the shade 2N, and I just use this to go across my cheeks and anywhere that just needs a little bit more coverage, such as my pigmentation, but I'll probably use a darker one for that. I like this because it's quite lightweight, um, and when you want that no makeup makeup look, it's really good. Plus, if you use a colour that's too dark for your skin, lightening up the centre of your face will help to um, make it look more natural and I just use the same brush to buff that in as you can see it's really lightweight you won't even see it sitting on the skin but it just adds a little something extra I also run it up underneath the eyes just gently because I don't like to wear concealer under the eyes because it's really ageing and in the summer with the sun heating up your makeup as well as your skin, that will crease. So you want as minimal product under your eyes as possible. And I always add a little bit just to the centre of the forehead because it lightens this area, drawing light to the centre of your face, making it look more three dimensional. Next, I'm going to take the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. This is really creamy, and in the heat, it does tend to warm up, so it gets quite soft. So make sure you store it in a drawer. And with that, I'm going to use a synthetic brush because it is a cream and synthetic hairs work better with cream. Otherwise, it will clump in the bristles and it will be a nightmare just to apply. Using my brush, I'm going to just put this into the hollows of the cheeks and pull the colour up onto where the cheekbone is. It gives you that bronzed effect. And it's not too powdery because it's a cream. It does go to like a powder finish, but it's not drying. And because we've not set our skin... You can just buff this over the top and it's just really lovely. I love how natural that sits on the skin. And we're already looking more flawless but yet still kind of like no makeup looking. So I'm going to tackle my pigmentation and just cover it a little bit. Today I received in the post, so I've not tried them yet, it's the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi Sculpting Concealer. And I've got two shades, I've got Almond and Mocha. This one's too light, this one's too dark. So I'm going to mix them together to create something that I can use to cover my pigmentation. It says super coverage, so I'm really intrigued to try it. What's interesting about them is they're almost the same size as the foundation bottles. They're huge, much bigger than your average concealer size. That's kind of like your standard concealer size. So you get 15 mils in that, it's absolutely huge, and it's got a big doe foot on it too. Absolutely humongous. So, I have... I've mixed two colours in the back of my hand. Well, I'm, go I'm going to mix two colours in the back of my hand. I've got a little bit of the mocha and a little bit of almond. I can tap this on with my brush. And then use my finger to tap that in place. I mean, the coverage is really good. It's a bit too dark. But I'm going to go over this with a darker powder anyway. So, so just knock that up a shade just for the centre, tap that in, got to keep it real guys, we've all got issues, <laughs> mine is my pigmentation, if you guys are interested in coming along with me to my consultation when I go after September to see about the different treatments available to rid the pigmentation, let me know and I will do my best to take you along. That's really good actually. I know you can still kind of see it. I don't know about you guys, but it's, how good is that? I mean, I haven't blended it into my hairline yet, but most of the concealers that I put over my pigmentation, they separate over the pigmentation and you can see the makeup just sitting there, if that makes sense. This is really nice. I'm going to use that also over these hormonal blemishes that I've got from here downwards, which is really frustrating, but again, can't be helped. So once that's on, I'm just going to use my fluffy little round blending brush just to kind of push it over the top. 
if you buff over it in circular motions you're just going to remove it from the skin so just kind of pat it in you can always put a little bit more on over the top so next up I'm going to take a little bit of my Becca multitasking perfecting powder as you know I absolutely love this and I want to keep the skin dewy but I do want to set a little bit at the center of my face I'm going to use a flat top kabuki brush and because I don't like to make the eyes look crepey, I tap off all the excess, put a little bit on the centre of my forehead, use what's left on the brush to sort of pull that underneath here, and just set this little section here that can get oily. I don't touch the cheeks, but I also set a little bit along here where I've put a little bit of concealer on, and it will set that in place. I'm going to tap it over the concealer because I don't want to remove it. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the chocolate soleil, only a very light amount because I don't want to look mattified, we just want a little bit in there. Next I'm going to liven up the skin using a little bit of my Illa Masca blush in the shade Lover. You can use a cream blush but I really like this shade and I've not found this shade in a cream product yet so I'm going to use the powder but I am only using a little bit. I like to put it on the apples of the cheeks because it just makes you look nice and fresh and youthful and just a bit more like you're really healthy and you've been away. This is one of those colours that I put on in the morning and I think, oh gosh, I've put so much on, it's really a light amount. And then in the day I go in and put a bit more on because I've got used to it. So I put it on and then I go back in with my Bare Minerals smoothing brush to soften it. And it won't go cakey because we haven't got a lot of product on our skin underneath. It's just enough to give you a little flush of colour. On my cheekbones, I am loving in the day using my cream colour base in the shade Hush by MAC. It's a beautiful peachy highlight, really subtle, and I love that it doesn't have any chunky glitter to it. It's not going to enhance the texture on your skin the same way that a normal highlighter does. This is really subtle, and when I wear it, I get loads of compliments on it. I'm using my synthetic brush again, and I'm just working that around the highlighter and then I'm going to buff that onto the tops of my cheekbones really lightly so it doesn't disturb the bronzer that we've got on there and then also onto my brow bone a little bit and it's just so natural and it really catches the light beautifully I always forget about this one I, I use it for a short while and then I move on to something else and then I forget about it and I've recently picked it up again I'm loving it it's especially with the beautiful weather that we've got. I like to stretch my skin out <laughs> because this little area, everyone gets small lines even if they're really, really subtle. So if you stretch the skin out before you buff the product over, you're not gonna get it sitting over the lines, if that makes sense. It's all kind of blended together. I put up a boomerang on Instagram the other day because my skin was so dewy looking and I had this on my cheekbones and it was beautiful and I had so many people asking me what it was. I'm also going to take a little bit through the centre of the face, just on the tops of the nose. I'm allowing the brush to gently buff over the tip, miss this centre bit here and catch here. I'm not buffing over the entire length of the nose and a little bit on my top lip. I'm just going to softly fill in the tops of my eyebrows. I've had them tinted for a tutorial and I am just going to fill them in lightly because at the minute where they're tinted I can see them and I have them very natural looking anyway so I'm using my Diego Della Palma high precision brow pencil which I always use and I won't film this bit because you've seen it a million times. I'm going to add a little bit of definition to my top lash line. No surprises I'm using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Liner in the Sepia Ink shade. It is a no makeup makeup look so you can skip this and just wear a brown mascara if you want something really really natural. I want to be no makeup makeup with mascara. Just pull 
lovely wing. I do have a tutorial on how to create eyeliner if you're new to it or new to my channel. As you can see, it's really subtle. Excuse my hair, a little bump. I just banged it out of the way earlier. On my lashes, I'm going to use this sample size of Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Super cute. I love this mascara. If you've not seen my review, go and check it out. It's the must have mascara. It's so black. I can't talk and do my mascara at the same time because I can't concentrate. You can just see the difference that it really opens up the eye compared to the eye with no mascara. Oh, I love this mascara. I'm not going to put any mascara on my bottom lashes. To finish off, I'm going to take a little bit of my L'Oreal Sexy Balm in this peachy shade and it's Sheer O2 Gossip. Just hydrate your lips, it's nothing too intense and adding a little bit more of that peachy tone to match your cheeks, again just makes you look a bit more youthful and fresh. And that completes my no makeup makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed this little kind of change up of scenery and you don't mind the fact that it's not in the clean studio environment this time. It's just a little bit different because it's too bloody hot to be upstairs. So yeah, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Would you wear something so natural? I really love it. If you haven't checked out the um, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, definitely give it a go. You might even be able to get samples. I don't go to the counter and ask if they can put one in a little pot for you and give it a go. Really lovely. Just gives you a tiny bit of even complexion and a little bit more colour, especially if like me you wear a sun factor to your skin that is much too high <laughs> to give you any colour. <laughs> yeah, I really love this look. It's kind of been my go-to throughout the mornings. When you're not doing it and chatting to people you can do it really, really quick within under 10 minutes and your makeup's done. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more behind the scenes, if you want to see what I get up to, I often post bits and bobs throughout the day, and new makeup, swatches, everything that I kind of don't do on here, this is solely really for tutorials, teaching and other bits and bobs and the odd vlog here and there. So yeah, I have Instagram at Show Me Makeup, Facebook at Show Me Makeup, and obviously YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.